What's going on YouTube? It's Mike from the Hardcover Comic here today. We're going to be taking a look at another image series that I'm very, very excited about. It is Death or Glory. So, without further ado... All right. Death or Glory. A series written by Rick Remender. Artwork by Bengal. This is published by Image Comics. This is my Image Comics series of the week. Um, I'm only going to talk about the first five issues r uh, for, for now. There's a, a lot that happens within the first five issues, and I think there are only eight issues out right now anyway, so I didn't want to you know, talk about the middle of another storyline. Um, great covers for the series. You know, they're, they're very exciting. They're very reminiscent of uh, uh, a, a little bit of like a Western movie kind of vibe, um, but they're, they're, they're great. I love them. They kind of remind me of movie posters, stunning, nice, crisp artwork. So I'm going to talk about the first five issues, uh, and, and seriously, there is a lot that happens in these first five issues. Um, right off the top of the right off the top, I'm going to say I'm really, really enjoying this series. Although I don't think I like it as much as I've been liking um, other image titles. So it starts off taking place in Yuma, Arizona. Um, we we sort of start off in this this diner. Um, we see these two guys arguing. You know, uh, you know, you know how it is. Um, people, you know talking shit to each other, um, causing trouble, and uh, and this gentleman comes in. And, you know, it's in, in classic Rick Remender fashion, things get uh, heated up, or, uh, well, things get going real quick, not necessarily heated up in this situation, but um, he comes in, he wants his order of cheeseburgers. Uh, the guys say, hey, we're shut we're closing in a few minutes. Um, this guy doesn't like it, and he basically starts uh, liquid nitrogening these guys. Um, so we, we, s we get introduced to this character, Right off the bat, action gets going, and then we jump, of course, to uh, a different scene where we start getting introduced to Glory Owens. Glory is the main protagonist of this series. She's a female who, um, as we learned throughout the series, has had a lot of difficulties in her life, but she's trying to uh, make ends meet, um, keep everyone happy. Her her father, whose name is Red, is uh, is very ill, and she basically, um, you know, she she's trying to make enough money to make sure that she can get okay, he can get okay, and that she can um, help him get the medication that he needs. Um, and, and what's really cool about this story is Rick Remender actually relates it to something that happened to him in his life uh, with his, his wife, in, in fact. And it's very interesting to see uh, the correlations between what he talks about in the letter section and in the book itself. But um, Glory's basically, she loves cars. She, she's a car mechanic. She raced cars. Um, and she has a plan in issue one to do something um, do something very bad in order to uh, in order to get the money that she needs for her father's medication. We get introduced to these these two cop characters who are, are local um, local cops, and basically, um, you know, we see Glory get into an altercation with these gentlemen, and um, you know they they're they're coming after her. She's got a very very nice muscle car that she drives around. Um, but yeah, basically they're, they're chasing after her. She's stolen this briefcase from him. And, uh, you know, of course this whole time since they're in a smaller, a smaller area, um, you know, she, she obviously doesn't want to get caught. She does run into this, this gentleman in the trench coat as well. And we start seeing all these characters start to connect, um, as she tries to basically steal this truck that she thought was full of drugs. Um, turns out it wasn't. Um, and so I we see an issue too, as as Glory starts to basically um, fix fix the problem she finds at the end of issue one, and we get to see, of course, her her character a little bit um, in classic Rick Remender fashion. A lot of inner monologue that's that's gr that's really um, great, and it gives you a lot of insight into the character. Um, we do get to meet you know other characters that join join the entourage here. I don't want to give too much away. But I'm I'm gonna give a good chunk away as I pretty much go a little more into de into depth with these issues, and um, we start seeing this operation that's basically uh, smuggling human body parts. We don't know who's in charge of it. We do get to meet this man who I I, I believe is called uh, you know Korean butcher or something like that, as he's he's talking about his missing shipment. He's talking about, um, you know, th this business arrangement, I guess, that hasn't gone as planned while he's butchering somebody. And so we basically see Gloria and Pablo come up with this plan. Uh, they start tracking, you know, where the truck's been. 
uh, through through Google Maps and they start seeing how you know all these pathways it's followed and and Pablo basically says hey they've got my family they've got money you need um, so let's get together and figure this out um, we do get introduced to this new character who's um, clearly involved in this this body part smuggling operation um, I, I don't think we've actually been given his name but either way he's um he, he's a big burly dude um he's got that sort of he's got that luchador mask on but he's he's after revenge too because obviously this whole human smuggling thing has gone uh, in the wrong direction and they need to now correct what's happened in issue three we get a lot of information packed into the issue we get history about um Glory and her parents and how, you know, they were struggling and then Glory's dad decided he's going to take hit the open road and they started their family basically traveling the, the country in a semi and um, you see Glory get born that way and uh, she gets, you know, she starts talking about her history, about how she met um, her fiance and how they got together and you basically start seeing this Toby character and, and what a jerk he is and how he manipulated glory and, and really changed her life and, and made her you know stronger in the person she is now but in the present time you know we start seeing pablo and glory get to the, the this butcher shop where um where this truck had made multiple stops over the time right and, and during while they're there they've of course health inspections there as well and so their plan is they're going to go in there they're going to find pablo's f uh, family members rescue them and they're going to get glory's money because she needs that money to essentially save her, get her dad the medication that he needs, right? We start seeing the details of this operation in the storyline, and Pablo starts finding out what happened to his family. Glory's trying to help uh, a few of the victims escape at the same time. And we things, of course, uh, you know, chaos ensues. We start seeing these sisters, basically, and we find out a little more about them. There are these women who all have something modified about them, whether they can't, wh one's deaf or one's mute or one's blind. And we start finding out a little more about them. Um, they're obviously part of uh, of the Korean butcher's operation. And he sort of, uh, we get some history, a little bit, a, a glimpse into the history of how he brought them into the fray. Of course, while all this is happening, there are phone calls coming in. And, you know, Pablo is hiding. Glory's trying to escape. There's a lot going on. It really... Um, it's funny how it all converges at the end. We see, we keep seeing all these characters repeat over and over again. But um, Glory Glory winds up escaping, um, and they they wind up making uh, they wind up getting a new a new attachment basically to their uh, entourage of of characters. They do of course escape or attempt to, um, and things get again a li a lot more chaotic now. And issue three transitions from this sort of you know getting a, a huge huge look into the history of glory and we start seeing uh we get this incredible incredible escape uh chase scene this may have been issue three or four i forget but either way it's fantastic we see um uh, you know of course it's it's as image comics go characters get injured characters die um uh, uh, during this high octane chase there are a lot of characters involved we see those two police officers come back because now they're worried that if someone finds out that glory was involved and she was the one who robbed them um, they're going to get knocked. They're going to get knocked off. Um, Toby, of course, starts getting involved as well. We see this this uh, this luchador character come back. Again, I don't know what his... I don't think his name has been revealed, but he comes back, and he's looking for... Um, he's looking to get his piece as well. But they wind up escaping, and in the next issue, you know, it's time, it's time for them to start planning what they're going to do next, right? Um, Pablo actually was able to get something... They weren't able to find cash, but they were able to find something else that could help Red. And so uh, their plan now is to get to Glory's place and uh, get to her dad, Red, before things get too crazy. Of course, like I said, um, they're wanted now. The police are after them. You've got these two other groups of people after them as well. So uh, Glory uh, and them are, are on the run, but they're trying to make the most of it. Um, they try, you know, relaxing a little bit, making some food. Of course, everyone's been through a lot, and shit hits the fan once again. Wouldn't be a Rick Remender book without things starting to get good and then turning bad. We see Toby come back, and Toby starts causing uh, trouble for, for Glory and uh, and Pablo. Um, he starts trying to convince her to come back. You know, the, her house starts burning down. Um, Pablo and Toby get into it. 
there's a lot a, a lot of stuff that happens of course throughout all this we've learned about toby's family and we've learned a, a lot about red and the people he's involved with but either way glory and pablo take um glory's father red and they start escaping um of course the the I can only imagine is some sort of Mexican cartel now shows up and, and everyone's on this huge epic highway chase and we see these trucks come in and I, I don't want to give away what happens next. It's a great way to end off the first volume uh, of Death or Glory. A lot of fun, especially, you know, like I said, the, the issues give you a lot. You start off with something very simple. You get some background information. You get some history on characters. And then by the end of the issue, it's a high octane chase, explosions, and um, Glory basically and her new gang uh, figure out what they're going to do next. Um, all in all, I, uh, I do have to say I give uh, Death or Glory two thumbs up. It's not one of my favorite image titles. I did enjoy Gideon Falls more. I did enjoy Farmhand more. And I did enjoy Ice Cream Man more. While Death or Glory does have a lot going on, and it's a ton of fun, a lot of fun, I highly recommend checking it out. It's... Still a pretty typical storyline. It's not very outside of the box for Rick Remender as well. And in terms of his books, I, I must say I did enjoy Deadly Class and Black Science more. Sorry, I had a little uh, brain twitch there. But um, I do enjoy Death or Glory. Bengal's artwork is beautiful. I really hope he gets those nice absolute size absolute size hardcovers for his artwork because it's stunning and of course they are still working on the series i think it's been up solicited up until issue number 10 so we will see more and i can't wait to see more and to see what happens hopefully it catches my heart even more and i do rank it up a little higher next time but for now i do enjoy death or glory um let me know what you guys think if you've read it if you plan on reading it um and yeah thank you guys very much for tuning in this is Mike from the Hardcover Comic. As always, until next time, you stay classy, Internet.